Welcome back to the Hall of Origins. Let's go back to the movie Wreck-It Ralph and explore the creation of another iconic character. Along his journey to be accepted by the other characters in his game, Fix-It Felix Jr., Ralph stumbles into the racing game Sugar Rush, where he meets a little girl whose head is way too big for her body, Vanellope Von Sweets. You know what, let's talk about her head for a moment, because something has always bugged me. Okay, look at the size of her hood. It's teeny tiny, right? So how in a later scene is she able to fit it over her head? Yeah, I know, cartoon logic, right? But that's been on my mind for years. Anyways, in the concept phase, there were several different ideas for what the Vanellope character could have looked like. All of them cute and childish in appearance, as well as some that looked a little... interesting. Imagine if they would have gone with this green skin design. Eh, the more I look at it, the more I kind of like it, to tell you the truth. But it was said on the creative team that they didn't go with this design because she looked like a zombie. Eh, fair enough. An idea that was thrown around was that Vanellope should look like an unfinished video game character. You know what I'm talking about. When you see characters that are unrendered polygons without the final textures, they decided not to go with this idea, but it would have been pretty cool to see her interact with other characters looking like she wasn't complete yet. Director Rich Moore stated that casting Sarah Silverman early on to be the voice of Vanellope made things easier. Over the course of a few redesigns, Sarah Silverman's likeness started to show a little bit in Vanellope's. But it was also planned for her to be a combination of Cindy Lou Who from The Grinch and Pippi Longstockings. The problem early on was that the artists were making her too cute. It was decided that dresses wasn't the direction the character should go in, so to give her a more aggressive and contemporary appearance, she was put in a hoodie. After this change, everything else started to fall into place. The idea was for Vanellope to look like a street kid with no parent around to take care of her. So her hair was made to look more wilder with bits of candy thrown in and pulled back and tied with a red licorice. It was also thought that Vanellope handmade her clothes from items she found around Sugar Rush, which explains why her skirt is a Reese's peanut butter cup wrapper and her stockings are mismatched. Vanellope has a very energetic personality, and often gets so excited over things, it causes her to jump around just like a regular kid would. However, she does have a defensive and at times rude attitude, most notably when she's insulting Ralph about his appearance when the two first meet. It is thought that this aggressive, sharp tongue behavior is a result of a long period of being bullied by the other racers. I mean, after years of that, it's understandable that she's a little rough around the edges, but her attitude does seem to soften a little as she makes her first friend in Wreck-It Ralph. Something else that should be noted is her intelligence. She's obviously technologically savvy for being able to build her own go-kart out of random pieces of candy, and cunning enough to know how to sneak into a cart-making factory. On top of all this, she also has a special ability. The ability to glitch. With her code being tampered with by the film's antagonist, her entire body becomes unstable. This might be seen as a bad thing to everyone else in Sugar Rush, but Vanellope has used this glitchy ability to her advantage in several cases. Like when Ralph puts her on a branch and she glitches herself down, she can temporarily distort the code in other characters, such as when she grabs onto Taffeta, and she too glitches out briefly, and she can use it to teleport as seen when she glitches herself in her cart in the first movie's final race. Okay, let's talk about the elephant in the room. Or the Dumbo in the room, because this is Disney. <laughs> I don't apologize for any jokes. In the sequel, Ralph Breaks the Internet, Vanellope Goes Turbo. Yes, this has been talked about by many other YouTubers, and now it's my time to address it. So, just as a recap, in the first movie, Going Turbo describes a video game character named Turbo, who left his game because he was unhappy and wanted to be a part of a different game. This coined the term, Going Turbo, which is seen as a pretty bad thing amongst the characters. You're not going turbo, are you? Turbo? No, I'm not going turbo. And yet, the exact same thing happens to Vanellope in Ralph Breaks the Internet. So, according to Surge Protector, six years passed in between the first and second movie, and Vanellope is now part of the main racers of Sugar Rush, and she's getting bored of it. During her and Ralph's adventure through the internet, she finds a new game called Slaughter Race, and decides she wants to be a part of it, and by the end of the movie, her code is fully integrated into the game, thus leaving Sugar Rush for it. Hypocrite! Hypocrite! This movie is a hypocrite! Vanellope 100% did exactly what Turbo did in the last movie. I mean, sure, some of the details are different, but the conclusions are the same. 
and the movie treats this as a good thing. What is it? Because she does the Disney thing of listening to her heart and follows her dreams? That makes it okay when it wasn't okay for Turbo to do it? I was actually shocked when I was sitting in the theater watching this, and I was thinking to myself, did they forget about their last movie? I mean, I get it. I get it. It's typical for this type of story to focus on character growth, and it makes sense that after doing things the same way every day for years would make the best of us want to do something different. But the problem is, what Vanellope wants contradicts what the first movie portrayed as a bad thing. I just kind of feel like this should have been pointed out in the script writing phase, and Ralph Breaks the Internet should have been about something else. Actually, I think it would have been very adult if Vanellope didn't get what made her happy. Kind of like she has the opportunity to go to Slaughter Race, but then realizes that there are other racers in Sugar Rush that depend on her. You know, with her being the favorite player and all. So she decides to put the other's needs ahead of her own and return to the arcade. Honestly, that would have been a bold move for Disney to do, and I would have applauded them for throwing in a moral like that. Because that type of lesson is important in life too. Sure, you should always pursue what makes you happy, but sometimes the happiness and well-being of others should be put above your own dreams. Wow, the movie in my opinion would have been so much better and so much more mature if they went with that angle. But if we don't take a good chunk of what the sequel threw at us, Vanellope is still a great character. In fact, did you know that the year after the first film was released, 63 babies were born and given the name Vanellope? Isn't that neat? And hey, if one of you Vanellope's is watching right now, what's up? Even though the sequel wasn't received as well as the first, hopefully we haven't seen the last of Disney's best video game racer. I would love to see her continuing adventures. Please, Disney, give us Wreck-It Ralph 3.